Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going on a road trip. at this time we go on a big road trip. We go as a family to celebrate with our family for Christmas. So the car is all filled. Wow. We're actually still waiting for Gabby. Like the the presents are bought. The horses are all snug in their bed. And the day by day family is headed to Toronto. It is the big city. You guys have been there with us before. The big city that is closest to us. Is it the closest city? Closest big city? Yeah, closer than Ottawa. Consider Kingston big city. Yeah. No. Anyways, we're headed to the big city to celebrate Christmas with Sam's parents, and we're really excited. And like in every Christmas story, there's always a villain. There's always a bad guy. There's always somebody not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Who is it in our family? Gabby. Gabby is supposed to be dressed and ready to go and yet, yeah, here we are waiting for Gabby. How do you feel about always waiting for your sister? We're going to be here for like three hours. When I was growing up, if we weren't ready when we were supposed to be ready, our parents would be like, come on, let's go. But for me, having already raised three boys, I've learned so much and I don't want to put pressure on her and I don't want to make her feel bad. She knows that she needs to be here. She's doing the best she can. So I just accept the best that she can give us and time management is not her best. <laughs> Sam, on the other hand, is old fashioned and still wants to put the pressure on and say, let's go Gabby. Stomping ground. We are here at Sam's old stomping ground. My old stomping ground. Hey, my grandfather's first. We're going to his grandfather's first. You guys remember? I used remember? to play in this park over here all the time by the creek. I don't actually uh, see a park. Is there still a park? Yeah. Yeah. They call it Jeff Healy Park now because Jeff Healy was in this area. He used to play on the, when he wasn't famous, he used to play on the hill with his guitar. He used to play. Do you guys know who Jeff Healy is? I think we told this story before. I don't know if we told this story before. Merry Christmas! That's for you. Brought you wine. So his grandpa lives in Toronto and every single day he makes himself lunch. He has like a big lunch and he roasts a chicken and this is his like barbecue. You, if you smell that, you could smell that it's like barbecue. It smells like fire. But it's this little tiny shed and he built it himself out of a shed. Like it's just a regular shed. Kind of like that. And then there's all his wood and his kindling and this is where he sits while he cooks a barbecue. And when you live in a big city, you're not allowed to have a fire outside. So this is his way of having a fire to cook his dinner. And it's all homemade. He made the whole thing himself. So how old's your grandpa now? 96 or 7? 96 or 97. Like, he's getting up there and he doesn't speak hardly any English at all. So when we go to visit him, we always go to visit him because he means a lot to Sam and he means a lot to us. There was a time that he would, like, take Sam to the park. Yeah, I used to sleep over, I used to sleep over at his house on the weekends and we'd go in the park looking for beer bottles in the morning. And there was a time when he used to carry Sam on his back. Like Sam was 10. That little tiny guy was carrying 10 year old Sam on his back. But anyway, we always want to go there every single year. We go a couple of times a year. And oh my gosh, I don't even have my seatbelt on. Oh my gosh. And even though he doesn't speak English and even though we don't understand each other, it's just being there. It's just being a part of 
each other's space for a few minutes and it's family. Family, you guys, it's family. And he didn't call me fat for once. <laughs> and he didn't call me fat for once. Yeah. He's this little tiny Italian guy and he just says it like it is. He says it like he sees it. <laughs> Now we're headed over to Sam's parents' house. His sister and his niece and nephew and his brother will all be there and we'll have like a traditional Christmas dinner. It's actually not like how I was raised because- <laughs> We don't know what we're having for dinner, so it's not gonna be traditional. It's gonna we be don't a, know what it's gonna be. Well, what do you think it's gonna it's be? It's not gonna be turkey, that's It's for definitely sure. not gonna be turkey. We've never had turkey. Actually, we've had turkey before, I think. Um, Sam's mom is German. Sam's dad is Italian. They both came from those countries. So uh, they don't you so we don't usually eat traditional Canadian food. We eat different stuff, which is why we love it. We love it so much. Uh, and Sam loves to spend time with his family. So I'm excited that we get to do that at Christmas they're the time. Reason, they're the reason I like muscles. They're the reason Sophie likes muscles. Why are you brushing out your beautiful curls? They were already out. And my hair is knotted. I just didn't Oh and just so you guys know we do have Gabby in the back. She's here. home we're finally home you guys I didn't end up vlogging at Sam's parents house it was it's just a quiet it was just it was just a quiet dinner oh but we're home Sophie what did you get for Christmas from your grandparents from Sam's family money. a lot of money she got a lot of money I also got birthday money all right, let her out for a minute, maybe and she can run. Are refreshing the horse's water, giving them more hay. Gabby's wearing pants without holes. <laughs> Gabby, did you have a good Christmas dinner? No. You didn't have a good Christmas dinner? No. Why? I didn't like any of the foods there except for the pasta. They made such good pasta. Was it rabbit that we ate? No. Oh, veal? It's like some breaded You guys probably can't see, but the horses are all having dinner. Every year we do our family dinner oh with Sam's God. family, and it's really it's hard. It's waiting for me to say okay. It's to hard to vlog. Oh my gosh, look at this. Her. The, she opened the door completely, but the, the horse won't leave the stall because Sophie didn't say she could. Like, what are these? Weird thing. <laughs> How fluffy she is. Hi, honey bear. She's so big. She is sad. I like to always feel her and make sure that she's she's not skinny underneath all that hair. Well, but you can tell. She's definitely getting too much hay though, Sophie. Look at that belly. She's gonna be such a pretty color. Look at her mane is dirty. <laughs> I swear. <gasps> she's like, I don't know where all the hay is. Come here. <laughs> she's like, Ooh, the hay you ball. should put her the her hay in the hay ball. She sticks her foot in it though. Oh, okay. Cause her foot can stick. You're really cute. Come here. She's gonna try and eat the bread. I keep showing Sophie like how much she's supposed to eat. Every time I come down, she's chubbier and chubbier. <laughs> Did you get her fresh water? Come on, honey. Come on. She changed so much. Come on. Like, look how old she looks now. Look at how white her mane is getting. How come it's getting so white? Coming through, coming through, oh, coming through. You can tell she's getting really close to a year. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 